I've learned quite a lot and I definitely would recommend it to anybody who's interested in introductory geophysical concepts. The class is going great. We have a good group of students. We have a good mix of uh, people with varied backgrounds, uh, people that have experience working in the field. Yeah, they're terrific courses and when you're, when you're out there actually gathering data, you need continual training like this to maintain your technical expertise, so it's really helpful. Any place where things are hidden or you want to find out what the geology is, this is the course to take to see whether the techniques will work for you or not. The U.S. EPA Workshop, Introduction to Environmental Geophysics, is a four-day course that provides individuals who have little or no geophysical exploration experience with practical information to effectively design and supervise geophysical surveys at hazardous materials sites. Students learn the latest non-destructive techniques to characterize hazardous waste sites without digging or drilling. The course focuses on geophysical plan design, the operation of geophysical equipment used for hazardous waste site characterization, procedures for safely collecting geophysical data, and the fundamentals of making simple interpretations of that data. This course uh, is essentially designed for people with a very little background in geophysics. It's not really designed for geophysicists, it's designed for geologists and engineers and, and biologists who have responsibility for overseeing or planning uh, site characterization or waste characterization on uh, uncontrolled hazardous waste sites or brownfields or, or RICRA sites. At the workshop, federal, state, and local government environmental workers learn about field work plan development as well as procedures for the use of geophysical methods for field screening, procedures for collection of field data using magnetometers, seismographs, electromagnetic, and resistivity instruments, ground penetrating radar, and quality assurance considerations are all detailed. The classroom portion of the course is conducted at an EPA Region 5 facility outside of Chicago, Illinois. Click the aerial photo. During the morning, students take part in lectures, group discussions, demonstrations, and computer modeling of data. In the afternoon, students then participate in outdoor field exercises at Moraine Valley Community College with an emphasis on the hands-on use of geophysical equipment. Over the years, we found that um, uh, adults learn better by doing things and uh, less by being talked to. So uh, by breaking the class up into um, lecture in the morning and exercise in the afternoon, we talk about the, uh, the procedures, the, the techniques they're going to use uh, in the afternoon in the morning. So they're, they're cognizant of what those are and then in the afternoon they actually get to, to work with the equipment and to do those techniques. And the next day we do the same thing. The four-acre field exercise area has four one-acre simulated hazardous sites containing buried drums, pipes, conduit, and other debris that could contain hazardous materials at a real site. A very important part of the class is actually providing hands-on uh, use of the equipment. So about half of the class is spent in the field at a site that we've developed where we've buried uh, buried metal and things like that and, and let students actually conduct surveys and see how the instruments work and see if they can find uh, the, these objects. Yeah, I think it, it works well because you get the theory in the morning uh, and you know you kind of get an understanding of uh, the methods or whatever and then you get out and actually get to use the equipment and I think that helps, it helps me at least in terms of learning and dealing with all the problems that go with field data collection that you don't really think about when you're in the classroom, so it's a good mix. What we talked about in the lecture this morning was uh, seismic refraction. Seismic is the inducing of sound waves into the ground uh, and we measure the travel time of that sound wave through the subsurface and from that travel time we can determine depth to groundwater or depth to bedrock. What we'll demonstrate this afternoon is the seismic refraction survey which is a, a seismic method. We induce energy into the ground we're going to be using a sledgehammer which causes an acoustic wave to go into the ground and it bounces, it reflects off certain 
geologic surfaces. That could be the top of groundwater or the top of bedrock. And it also refracts uh, the energy, and we measure the time that it takes that energy to uh, flow uh, through the ground, and then we plot that out. We only cover two techniques a day, and this way they have, uh, have the ability to really concentrate on those two techniques. And then as the week goes on, each technique builds on the previous one. Uh, today, uh, which is the third day of field work, they'll be using ground penetrating radar and some of the electromagnetic techniques to pinpoint their their targets. Last night and this morning they worked on their target maps or their dig maps and then today they'll actually go in and use the highest resolution uh, technique which is the uh, ground penetrating radar. We'll also be doing a seismic refraction which gives them a, a idea of the geology of the site. Students walk away from the course with a solid understanding of how to put their newfound knowledge to work every day. It's information they can use to make their jobs more productive and efficient. There are a lot of good aspects to this course, both in terms of actually using this instrumentation in the field, which is a big part of what we do, but also the lectures are, are really helpful to understand the theory behind it so that we can um, better utilize these methods in the field. Our division will use this kind of training to better conduct field investigations, to collect evidence for enforcement investigations, to determine where to dig to try to find uh, drums or other things that have been illegally disposed on site, or to conduct uh, investigations to better get data off of the site to use later in an enforcement investigation, either civilly or criminally. I work on a lot of uh, corrective actions for the Waste Management Division, so we do a lot of site investigations in which we oversee contractors and, and sometimes do some investigations ourselves, so this is a good tool for me to be able to evaluate people's work plans and, and the quality of work that they do as well as maybe plan some investigations of our own and become familiar with all the geophysical tools that are available. The course also better prepares students to oversee contractors, repair budgets, specify equipment, organize schedules, and analyze reports. You know, obviously you're not going to become an expert in a week, but it's a good way to become familiar with all the different tools that are available, what their limitations and their uh, uh, benefits are. The course is open to federal, state, and local environmental agencies. For more information, contact the EPA Regional Training Coordinators by visiting www.trainx.org or by calling 513-251-7669.